Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I want to discuss Alert Thingy. <laughs> yes, that's the name, Alert Thingy. Alert Thingy is an Adobe Air client for the FriendFeed website or platform social network. FriendFeed is a site which I've talked about in the past, and it allows you to aggregate your social social information from all over the web. But its focus is to is to elevate the discussion around existing materials, whether it be from your blog whether it be from Twitter, whether it be from YouTube, whether it be from Flickr, Seismic, and the like, you can use Alert Thingy, I'm sorry, you can use uh, FriendFeed to do that. Now Alert Thingy is taking advantage of the new FriendFeed API, which was released about a month, I believe about a month ago, or two or three weeks ago. And uh, this is using the Adobe Air uh, framework, which means you can run it on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So here we see the Alert thingy window and uh, it's got the classic I am like window where it has different buttons in the toolbar and it has a search box here now if I were to search for something let's uh, I'm gonna search for Laporte because I see Leo Laporte there I can see all the items that have the word Laporte in them and then highlights it in red in a nice view and you can see here uh, the different service icons on the right denoting where these entries are coming from this is a T. That's the Twitter T. And if we scroll down, I believe this is the uh, this is an, a general RSS general RSS um, icon. So it could come from a blog. It could come from uh, some other source. The, anything that has RSS. And these are all of Leo Laporte's entries. And you can see there's actually a photo there as well. So that's the search functionality right off the bat. And uh, as you saw, there is a ton of uh, of data here. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this search. And uh there's a ton of data here. And this is this is one of the issues with uh this is one of the issues with alert thing is that it does not currently honor your hide settings on FriendFeed. And this is a problem with the FriendFeed API which has been already confirmed. The uh, FriendFeed API is exposing all entries and not things that you have hidden. So one of the problems with FriendFeed is that you can you see too much data. Um, and uh, I have really utilized the filtering capabilities of FriendFeed. I did a video on this earlier on how to hide unwanted entries. And as you can see here, this is a, pretty much all Twitter. And that's one of the issues with, uh, with FriendFeed is that there is a ton of Twitter traffic on here. And you really have to be careful as to what you filter and what you see. Otherwise, it's going to look like a duplicate of what you see on Twitter. So... Um, this was kind of a deal breaker for me. I really wanted this to honor the hide settings. And Brett Taylor and those guys over on FinFeed have already said they're going to fix it. They've already started working on it. So once that happens, I'll be able to use this more. So if we go into, we're already in alerts now. If we go into settings, here you can configure your username. Uh, your remote key is a key given to you by FinFeed. And it's basically given the application permission to access your data. Um, you can tell it to launch a startup, play sounds, and uh, there, there was a little bug in this one. Once you've installed 1.0, this is 1.1, but in 1.0, it would not honor the play sounds check checkbox until you restart it. So it, it was a pretty loud sound when you got a new um, a new uh, alert. Uh, you can show it at startup, and there's a new entry here called opaque window. And a lot of people complained about this because the default behavior was a transparent window. And uh, this thing is all black, it's got white text, and it was transparent. Everybody can't really see that. So a lot of people complained that that needs to be a toggle or a slider, and he actually put a, uh, a toggle here. So you can turn that on and off. And you can share things. So I can actually share things to friend feed from here. I'll say um, demoing uh, alert thingy for a video on Buona.tv. And I'll submit that. And I can optionally drop an image there as well. And that shows up at the top that I'm a demoing alert thingy on on, uh, for a video on Buona.tv, and this is uh, one of the uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't like as well. It's uh, it, it appends via alert thingy on everything you do. So if I comment, um, like I'll comment on Leo Laporte's Twitter here. He says I've been gone a long time as Obama president, yet, and I'll put practically 
and uh, do submit. So I have commented on Leo Laporte's Twitter, and you see here it says practically, and then it says via alert thingy. So it appends that to everything. But that's pretty much it. I mean, this is what you get with alert thingy. You have the ability to view updates. I mean, it shows a nice little window when you get new updates, kind of growl style on Mac OS X. But this works on Windows, Linux, and on Mac. And uh, it's, it's, it's something that you want to use if, you know, you want to... You know, do other things and just have updates come to you rather than you go to the friend feed site. And that's that's one a lot of people like about these uh, these little clients like this. So this is Alert Thingy version 1.1, and I'm definitely looking forward to the improvements. I've already blogged on Bornit.org my seven things that I want to improve, and I talked about some of them here. And uh, I'm quite sure the author has considered those. I sent them to him. He acknowledged them, and uh, we'll see you know what version he can get those in all right this is Buona from Buona.tv, and this is alert thingy <laughs>